Hey guys, it's Stone W, and I'm going to go ahead and install these heads up displays on my Honda. So, as you can see, if you don't want to keep on looking down to see how fast you're going, you actually put a heads up display. Let me go ahead and move away this um, TPMS sensor, but as you can see there on my windshield, there is the speed as well as like other fun stuff. All it needs is actually a OBD2 um, port which most cars have now, and you just basically plug it in. It's very simple to install, and that's where it goes, right underneath your driver's side. I ran the cable on the side of the driver's side seat. It also has a GPS mode, so if you don't have like uh, OBD2 um, port, you guys just use it by GPS and just power it up by that way with a USB uh, power. So pretty interesting in terms of what it does, um, and it's actually very simple to install. So as you can see, this is just trying it out. It's just a really small device. Um, like this TPMS um, tire pressure monitor I added for my Honda. Very, very useful. I actually do like the uh, HUD display so that you don't have to look down to see your speed or your uh, engine temperature or voltage or whatever else like that. It does have you know, a cable that's long enough to go from, I guess your dash all the way down to your OBD2 um, adapter. And like I said, I already have like, what, 30,000 miles on my Honda. So if I put it in front of it, basically I won't be able to see it. And all I see is actually the, the, um, the speed and also my temperature or RPMs. Very, very useful. I'm gonna go ahead and put and run the cable so I could hide the cable behind the dash and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. But as you can see, I have other stuff on my Honda like the steering wheel cover and you know the TPMS sensor. But this is one of the newer additions I did. And you can see there's actually a doubling effect image on the glass. You can also mitigate that with a reflective uh, piece of film that it came with in the box. And I'll go over an unboxing of it a little later. I basically ran it through this uh, the um, side paneling, pulled down the weather stripping and ran the cable up the weather stripping in the large cavity there. And you know underneath the dash and up to the front of the dash, there's plenty of space there, you just have to uh, put it in. The weather stripping is very easy to pull out. If you're running any cable, weather stripping, where behind it, it's actually has plenty of space. For the dash part, I basically just lifted up the um, the A pillar a little and just slowly pushed the cabling in. It already came with a uh, trim tool, so it made it very, very easy. It has a USB uh, plug at the end of it. So I basically just squished some of it down and just left out about a couple of inches. It also has a non-slip sticky um, pad that comes with, you can put on the bottom of it and it won't move off your dash. It's actually very, very useful. At nighttime, it's fine. I actually bought two ones. One is a simple one and which and this more advanced one was an M12. The M, I think eight was actually pretty cool. It comes with a cable, as you can see, it's a USB um, end to it as a trim tool, as well as more cable for USB. If you want to just run a USB cable or five volts to it from like your car or from a charger, the device itself is actually very small. It's less than like three inches by whatever. But when it projects on your um, windshield, it's actually pretty big and it's very visible. There's that not zip grip. And here's that piece of um, reflective uh, translucent film that you go so you won't see a double image. You want to keep the manual because the manual is very important when you're doing the settings. There's different settings you could set up for it. Now, of course, the only bad part about this thing is that sometimes it resets after a few days. I'm not sure if it's because of the voltage or what, but um, since you power up the car, sometimes it resets and then um, like the speedometer adjustments that you fine tuned and did sometimes get erased or the display changes to the default display which is not exactly very convenient and good, but at the same time, it still has the mileage and uh, displayed pretty well. Like I said, the, like another issue is that since it's fine tuned and stuff, there's actually buttons on that device. So to reach over and get to that device to do it, not exactly the most fun thing to adjust while, while either driving or when even when you're parked. So anyways, it's actually hidden behind the uh, main dash. So you can't really see the actual device, which is good. So overall, I really like it. But at the same time, there are some caveats with it. Anyways, guys, this is Stone W. I hope this review was helpful to you. I'll see you next time. Anyways, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, hit the bell button for the Stone W channel. I do a lot of Costco runs, price checking, as well as new product finds. Anyways. 
There's also a lot of long-term reviews and updates as well as other fun current reviews and stuff as well as DIYs and how-to videos. So check out the channel and have fun. See you next time. Bye.